Hello friends, Doug Fink, here to show you some more cool things I've just added to PowerShell AI. So get ready for that. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I put out more videos on this module and the other ones that I have as well as PowerShell topics. Let's get going. So I've added two new features. One's called new hyphen chat and the other one's called chat. And what it lets you do is it has allows you to have a conversation, an ongoing conversation with ChatGPT like you do in the web. But here you can do it at the command line. Um, it handles and supports memory and context. So let's take a look what that is. So also want to bring your attention to the fact that this is using GPT-4 as a default. Um, if you don't have access to that, you only have access to GPT-3, uh, 3.5 Turbo. Uh, I'll show you at the end of this how to set that up. It's pretty simple. Okay, so I'm going to ask, what is the capital of Spain? And off it goes. GPT-4 responds correctly. That's awesome. So now let's ask about France. Now notice I'm just typing and France. So I didn't ask it for the capital or I didn't really ask a question. I just said and France. So it used the conversation that we're having um, as context and it figured, okay, you want to know what the capital is and it comes back with Paris. Now I'm going to type in chat USA. What information is there? Not much. And sure enough, it comes back with the proper capital for the USA because uh, it used the context. Now, get hyphen, have a get hyphen chat messages and this shows you the structure of the of how the messages get uh, managed for the chat GPT uh, interface. Okay, so you can see user is you. There's the questions that, that you ask. And then the assistant is GPT coming back with the responses. So this is being tracked and then passed up to GPT so that it understands what's going on. Let's take a look at new chat. So new hyphen chat does a bunch of things. First off, it stops any conversation you have. It initiates a new one, and you can pass in a uh, some text. And this is helps the steerability of the model. So now here I'm saying, I want you to only respond in JSON. So now I'm in a new um, session. When you do a new chat, it, the role is system. There's what I typed in. Uh, it closed the old one out, opens up the new one. Now when I type in um, what is the capital of Spain? It comes back and it gives me JSON. Awesome. Let's do France. And then lastly, we'll do USA. So we get our answers back all in JSON. I could have said respond only in PowerShell hash tables. Um, I could have said respond in XML. So there's lots of ways you can use that new hyphen chat to kick this off. Um, Let's try chat show all at once. And sure enough, it comes back with JSON and it shows all the countries and all the capitals. Um, so that's pretty cool. So um, that's where I'm gonna stop the demo. I can actually have a stop chat as well. It turns it off. Uh, and for folks who need, who don't have um, access to GPT-4, you can do get session options. You can see down here is the model and that's GTP4, and I can say, set the model to GPT-3.5. And this is a validation set, so you can choose it any way you'd like. And when you look at the options, it'll be, go to GPT-3.5 Turbo. So if you have access to the previous version, it's, you can make that work. GPT-4, you can make that work. Um, check out the description below for more details. Thanks for joining, and I'll be putting out more. Take care.